you need these enhancements if you own a photo booth business. My name is Sam. I own Northwest Rose Event, fully digital photo booth service since November 2021. Today, I am going to tell you five different ways that you can elevate your photo booth business for your clients and your prospective leads. So what are they and why do you have to have them? Number one, the video guest book. I started implementing the video guestbook feature earlier this year in 2023 and it has been one of my most popular features by far this year. So a little bit of an explanation of what that means um, and what video guestbook is. We use the Salsa Booth from Photo Booth Supply Co. And within the software that comes with the Salsa Booth, we have an option to choose the capture mode of video with audio. So we have basically a simple setting to switch on if you want to use video and then another step to take if we want that video to also include audio. What we'll do is we'll set the audio and video capture limit to as high as it will go. I also bring a microphone stand so some people feel more comfortable setting the microphone on the stand or having the stand in front of them instead of holding it. So we have that as an option. And I also prepare up to three prompts with the client to ask as an on-site attendant while guests are coming up to the booth. At the time of filming this, what we have used is an SM58 microphone with the JK Audio Blue driver connected into the bottom, which wirelessly connects the microphone to our photo booth. I'm still looking for an alternative. Unfortunately, the one that we use at this time has been discontinued, but for now, um, if you find this option in like a Facebook marketplace group or any kind of resale site, I would go ahead and snag it because they are becoming hard to find. I have really loved watching the guests interact with this video feature and a tip that I have to get the most out of your video guest book time during your photo booth service is to prompt every person that comes to the booth to start with a video and then move on to photos, boomerangs, gifts to get that out of the way first. Some people feel really uncomfortable or nervous being on camera, especially when there's a microphone involved. So just encourage them really nicely, respectfully. And if they say no, don't pressure them. You can move on to the photos or whatever other capture modes they want to take. But start off with the video and then have them move into the photo so you can get the most out of your time there on site. I find it so special to have the event guest voices and faces captured on video to then edit together and share with the event hosts later on. Number two, audio guestbook phones. This has been a trend that has become increasingly popular over the last few years and especially in the wedding industry. I actually had a audio guestbook phone at my own wedding in 2022 and I cannot tell you how much I cherish it. I am especially grateful that I have voicemails saved from my parents, my now husband's parents, and some of our grandparents that I'll be able to cherish and keep forever. And I think it's just one of those things that you might not think about until you're presented with the idea of an audio guestbook phone. But basically how it works is there is some kind of phone, you can pick the different designs, and the phone is set up with some kind of recording device that is triggered to record as soon as the receiver of the phone is picked up and then it's triggered then to end the recording once it's hung back up. So there are some really beautiful designs out there for the audio guestbook phones and if you stay tuned we might have a little bit more on this in the future but for now we'll leave it at that. These phones are a fabulous way to diversify your revenue that comes in through your business. You can either offer them on their own or you can have them as an add-on for your digital photo booth service. Whatever makes the most sense for you and your business. Number three, luxury flower wall backdrops. You can see one of mine from my collection right behind me here. This is what we call our secret garden wall. I get so excited when any of my clients book one of our flower walls because they just instantly elevate the space and the photo booth 
capture output, which I really, really love. So I'm always encouraging my clients to add on a flower wall if it fits within their photo booth budget, and also letting them know that if they ever in the future just want to book out a wall by itself for a whole day, that, that is an option as well. I get all of my flower walls from Rose Morning. I can link the exact designs down below in the description. The thing to know about these is that they are not cheap and they do take a while to come in for shipping, but I do not regret my purchase of these at all. They are so gorgeous. They pair so well with the photo booth. And in general, I've been able to get my return on investment pretty quickly with how popular they've been this year for my business. I don't like to skimp on the quality of anything for my business, so it's really worth it to me to buy the more expensive flower wall and maybe have my set price when I'm renting them out a little higher than others, just so I know that I'm providing my clients with that elevated look. Number four, the glam booth experience. This is another trend that has become increasingly popular in the event and especially in the photo booth industry. Essentially, all it consists of is a black and white filter and a skin smoothing, brightening effect applied to each of the captures in the photo booth. You should absolutely upcharge for this service just like any other service add-on or feature because it requires a lot of experience in fine tuning with the lighting and the filters to make everything look just right. Last but certainly not least, maybe the first thing that you even think of when starting a photo booth business or whenever you see a photo booth out in the wild is number five, props. High quality props without a doubt will enhance and elevate your photo booth and guest experiences with your booth. Hey, future editing Sam here. I wanted to pop in really quick to note something that's pretty important when it comes to my decision with which props that I buy for my business. It's important to note that when I first started my business, I didn't want anything to do with props because the idea of props that I had in my head were the cheap, flimsy paper props that you see glued on or stuck on somehow to a wooden dowel or wooden stick. And that was not the vibe I was going for, especially with my ideal client being couples getting married. I really wanted something to elevate those experiences and that's not what I was picturing or imagining or seeing at the time. So to start off, I told clients that if they wanted props, they were welcome to provide them themselves, but limited my options and what I wanted to post about for my business because I didn't want that to be the representation of our quality or our experience as a photo booth company. Even one time at an event, the event host handed me um, a plastic bag full of some kind of props they bought offline, but they hadn't been put together yet. So that was ended up being my job while I was finishing putting up all of my photo booth equipment. And then I also was in charge of putting together these props. And I just remember thinking, if only I provided props myself, I wouldn't be in this position in the first place. And that is what completely changed my mind and my opinion on photo booth props. You live and you learn, right? <laughs> We at Northwest Rose Events only offer props by request, but we find that about 70% of the clients that we book do request those props. It's really important to me and to my business to make sure that the props that we use are really high quality, they're curated, and they are beautiful. I have a small, very curated selection of props that vary on designs and styles based on the event type and aesthetics. We pride ourselves in being very selective about the props that we use because we only want the best output quality possible for our clients. We are very selective because we want everything to come out looking classy and beautiful and timeless as much as we possibly can. If you are on the hunt to get your first ever props for your photo booth business, or if you're just looking out for some new designs, I highly, highly, highly recommend Lush Party Studio props. These are the only signed props that I have and will use in my photo booth business. And I highly encourage you to check out all of their designs. One of the first events that I ever used a Lush Party for was a spring event. 
So we had curated props such as sunglasses that had some daisies around the rim of the glasses as well as some custom made signs. So if you're also in one of those situations where you're looking for a specific prop but there's not one that has the colors or the sayings that you want, there is an option on their website to make your own custom props. Now I would love to share with you some of the props that we have from Lush Party Studio. Here are a couple from the Spanish wedding set. I'll go ahead and show you those. So you can tell just by looking at them, they're super thick, super durable, really easy to clean, and the designs are just really seamless and pair perfectly with the flower walls, with any photo booth backdrop that you have. And it's gonna add a little bit more fun, a little bit more personality to any of the events that you are working. These next ones are from their holiday selection. I think these are so adorable and I cannot wait to use these ones. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Merry everything and happy always. I think this one is super cute. And then these next ones are from their classy Christmas set. Let it snow. Especially if you have any parties coming up that are specifically holiday parties. They want to keep it pretty broad and not mention specifically, you know, Santa Claus or Christmas. Um, they have some really great options. You could even get a set and kind of pick through the ones that fit your event the best. That's what I mean by those curated props. It's very much what event am I having? What type of people are going to be at this event? And how can I make the props that we bring fit in to their experience and enhance their experience the most? This one is one of my all-time favorites, drink, dance, photo booth, repeat. This is one of those where if there's kind of a lull in people taking photos, this is always the prop that I grab to take some shots myself at an event. I love that there is gold and white and black. It's pretty neutral, can fit in with any event, and I just think it's really cute. Just so fun to see all of the event guests picking through them and laughing and having a good time, even just picking out the props and then how they use them in the photos to create a really great output. I'm super excited to share that Lush Party Studio has created a specific link for viewers of my YouTube channel to purchase props with a 10% discount. So if you watched all the way through this video here, you can scroll down to the description below and click on a link that will automatically apply 10% off your cart when you buy from Lush Party Studio. So highly, highly recommend checking that out. Now is as good a time as any to get in there, get some photo booth props for your guests that you will not be disappointed with. The quality is great, they're durable, and your clients will have so much fun using them. Now let's talk pricing these elevated experiences. As I mentioned earlier, some of these items can be marketed to your clients on their own instead of only with your photo booth. When building out your pricing, consider these three things. Number one, how much did purchasing this feature and the materials you need cost you and your business? For some features like the video guest book and the glam booth experience, in our case at least, the main components are all housed within the software that we use. But don't forget to take into account any extra time, effort, or materials that you will need to make these experiences successful. For example, with our video guest book feature, we not only provide the microphone, whatever wireless connection we're using to connect it to our photo booth, but we also supply three external lights, which aren't just the light themselves. It's the light wand, two adapters, and a microphone stand. So when you think about it, there are actually a lot more parts to it than just the software video function with the audio turned on. To provide this feature, we also pay for a service called VidFlow that allows us to store and share the edited video compilations that we make from the captures that we gather with our photo booth. Number two. How much time and effort does it take to provide this feature? Similar to my last point in weighing the materials and how much those cost, you should also consider how much time it takes for you to set up these features, 
for you to maintain these features and for any possible time and effort that you put into it after the event. We need to take our time seriously and we need to value our time. So that might mean increasing the price on something that takes you more time in order to one, pay yourself, but two, to make it feel worth it to provide this feature. The first time that I ever offered a drop off standalone flower wall backdrop, I had to drive, I'm not kidding, over a hundred miles in the day for a four hour rental of the backdrop. And it was just so much driving back and forth, so much gas used up, and so much effort bringing it, loading up the car, setting it up, taking it down, with little time in between it all, that I really started to reconsider how much I was charging for that service, and I ended up increasing that price to make it feel worth it to me. Don't devalue your time. Your time and your efforts and your skills are valuable. So make sure that you price these features accordingly. Number three to think about when pricing these items is how will this make me money? A very obvious to most of you thing is going to be that if you own a business, you need to be making money. Something that we implement in our business with Northwest Rose Events is the profit first strategy of money management. It doesn't matter what point you are in your business, this is a really great strategy to use and at least try out if you're interested. To summarize it very briefly, profit first strategy for money management in business takes little reserves split up by percentages from each dollar each cent that you make and that you bring into your business accounts. If I were to make one dollar, that one dollar is going to be split up into different percentages in order to give me recurring expenses, profit, money for taxes, and so on. If you're interested in this subject at all, go ahead and DM us on Instagram at Northwest Rose Events with the term profit first and I'll send you a couple of links on where you can purchase this book to learn more about the profit first strategy. It can feel way easier said than done when you actually get rolling with your business. My advice is to ease into adding these features. First, master and perfect photos, the lighting, everything that you do with the photo booth by itself. Then you can start considering adding on one of these features and weighing all the possibilities and pricing them. One thing that helps me figure out how I should price these items is to think, how much did it cost me to purchase this feature and how many events do I need to book in order to make that money back? Not only will it kind of give you a sense of how your pricing is with your booth itself and how it ranks based on all of those things we talked about earlier in today's video, but it can also really light a fire under you and get you really motivated and excited and inspired about going out and marketing and figuring out your ideal client and finding those bookings and making those connections so you can make that money back. Adding features to your photo booth business is a fabulous way to increase interest for your ideal client and improve the overall quality and experience at your photo booth and increase your profits. Let me know in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram if you found any of this helpful or if you'd like a dedicated video on any of the things that I mentioned today. Until next time, happy photo boothing. Bye.